Hello there. So um, today I wanted to talk about something I've kind of already talked about before, which is flexibility. Now, before I sort of went on about kind of why it's important more in relation to sort of uh, like physical activity, martial arts or other things where it's useful. But today I kind of wanted to go a bit more about the general sort of health benefits, why anyone, even people who aren't even that physically into sports or any other kind of physical activity, why it's still a good idea for you to want to sort of at least work on it in some degree, make sure it's at a reasonable standard. So there are certain elements of fitness that are like really important for anyone, regardless of whether you do any kind of sporting activity or not. Um, things like cardiovascular fitness, you know, strength and well-being of your heart, uh, things like maintaining a healthy body fat percentage level. Um, you know, those are sort of elements of fitness, the sort of general health and well-being that's, you know, even, like I said, if you're not, even if you don't really do that much because you're just not into it, it's still a good idea for you to um, try to keep a general good level of fitness in those areas. So I think fit or flexibility is one of those ones that is kind of actually in that category. Um, uh, not as important, but it's kind of, it's, it's very use good for you. So the reason why I say that is because a lot of, it is a very underrated aspect of fitness. And um, a lot of the time, it's partly because you, people don't really n know or maybe not remember or understand how much of a difference it makes. So when you're inflexible and your muscles are tighter and stiff, you've got lower range of motion, you can't move around as easily, you can't, you, you know, you, you get tension in your body which creates stress, it causes headaches and stuff, particularly if there's sort of muscle tension around your traps, that can be a big cause of headaches as well. Any sort of stiffness and pain, all these things that are associated with old age, basically. So you know, if you've ever done weight training and you've really killed it and you're really stiff and sore the next day, especially in your back, you feel like an old person. Even if you're young, you still you feel like you're old because it's like, oh, you're grunting and achy and standing up really hurts and you feel like you're an old person and that's because of that lack of flexibility the more flexible you are the younger you will feel in general it's like some it's something that is associated with you because you are more flexible the younger you are and the older you get typically unless you keep on top of it the less flexible you will become so it's one of those sort of aging things and if you work on it and sort of keep it at a decent standard, you will be much more mobile and flex and you know easy to move. You won't feel stiff, and um, that would just make you feel loads better, especially as you get older. And then another thing is I kind of mentioned is the the stress, the muscle tension that makes you feel tight and creates you know, stress in your body physically. You know, the sort of physical process affects you know mind body connection it's the same thing anything that kind of makes your body tighten up like this it affects your brain as well and so being able to be much more relaxed release any muscle tension mentally will help you loads as well especially if you have a really stressful job or just your life circumstances are really rough like that so having some kind of stretching routine it's just it's really beneficial the health sort of health and well being benefits both physical and mental mental are really useful for fit, uh, flexibility so I uh, just want to go on about that you know let me know what your own experience is or if you've got any other points you want to make just a quick video about why flexibility is so good for anyone regardless of what sort of hobbies you get it up to so that's all for today and I'll see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.